Hi everybody, welcome back. And what we're going to look at today is we're going to look at selection statements and we're also going to look at creating our own subroutines. Okay, so let's take selection statements first. We're going to put a new object or control onto the form. So I want you to select the option button. And I want you to place a couple of option buttons on the form. Okay, don't worry about lining them up, just, just leave them. Press play and you'll notice that we can only select one or the other option. Okay, now then, what we're going to do is we're going to um, check the value of these option buttons. If you just go into your properties of either one of those option buttons and you'll see there's a, a value and it says true or false. Okay. If I select that to true, you'll notice that it's been selected in the program and it runs selected. So basically, if it's selected, it's true, its value is true. If it's not selected, its value is false. Okay, and that's what we look at in our code. Okay, I'm going to put a command button on and I'm going to put a label on. Okay, now I'm going to change the name of the label to LBL display and delete the caption from the label and I'm going to change the command button to CMD run Oops. and I'm going to change the caption of that command button to run okay the action buttons I'm just going to leave them as they are the names as they are for the time being now when I run my program, I click run, nothing happens. Okay. That's what I would expect to happen. Going back into option one, I'm going to set the value back to false. So when we run the program, the value should be false. Now by default, the option value for the first option box or option button that you put on will run at true. Okay? So just bear that in mind. Now, what I want to do is when I run the program, I want it to just display which option uh, I've actually picked out the two. Okay, so behind the run button, I need to introduce a new command that we've not come across yet, and it's called the if statement. So if option one dot value is equal to true then I'm going to do something and then I'm going to end if the statement so basically if the option one value has been selected or the option button has been selected I'm going to do something within the scope of this if statement in other words inside this if statement I'm just going to tab it across for neatness Oops. Now then, what do I want to do? Okay, I want to just display to that label that option one's been selected. It's as simple as that. Okay, so label display dot caption equals you chose option one. Okay, and it's it's as simple as that really. So if we press play and we run it, option one selected doesn't do anything for option 2. So now I need to add the code for option 2. Still behind that run button, I can pretty much copy and paste that bit of code and just change the values. So basically option 2, if it's true then display that you've picked option 2. So if I select option 2 and run it, it comes up, you chose option 2. If I select option 1 and run it, it will come up that I've chosen option 1. Okay? Hopefully um, that makes sense. And then we'll use this to write a simple calculator. 